morning my dear students how are you all hope you all are fine stay safe and be in home being in our home we are going to start our new lessons for the next academic year so we shall start with the poem of unit 1 the name of the poem is a house a home children do you know what is the difference between a house a home both sound similar right both has its own different meanings you all might have thought house home everything is a place where we live right it's actually not a house is a place is a thing actually which is made up of bricks stones wood windows glasses everything which are non living things which doesn't have any life okay it is a house home is a place where a group of people lives they are bonded with love care affection and the people such as father mother brother sister grandfather grandmother this is called a home where human beings we live the place where caring and sharing takes place do you think these window glasses and wooden doors will share their things and help for each other it doesn't happen because they don't have any care about each other they are not a living thing they doesn't want to even care about that but we people we do at our home that's why we call it as a home where caring sharing loving happens and there is no selfish acts no one is living in a family for their own purpose each and every one is dependent on others to survive their life and if something happens who is caring us with a whole kind heart out our family members right they show their unselfish acts they show their love to everyone we feel happy at our home right so a building without any human being it is just called a house from now onwards you will know the difference right that's why we used to say a house is a thing where no caring and sharing happens a home is a place where all kinds of these things will happen clear now let us go through the poem once let us read out the poem what is a house it's brick and stone and wood that's hard some window glass and perhaps a yard it's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors sweeps and chimneys eaves a part of a roof that is being connected each other it is called eaves it's eaves and chimneys you know chimneys right in factories you might have seen a uh, tall pipe on the top of the roof they might have placed yes through that pipe some smokes will be coming out right that is called chimneys it's eaves and chimneys and tile floor stucco means a fine plaster used for coating the surface of the wall okay children now you understand what is meant by a house it is just simply made up of bricks stones wooden doors doors and then window glasses stuccos eaves and chimneys no human beings they doesn't have any relationship between each other now we can discuss about home what is a home it's loving and family and doing for others it's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers it's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones that you are always caring you will show right 
our father and mother will show often that they are caring for us they are simply not showing and they are doing to right so what is a home it is a loving family and doing for others each and every one help its brothers and sister it consists of brother sister father and mother and as in selfish acts they will have a sharing okay each and every one not only uh, sharing things they will share their experience what happened throughout the day i think many of you will share your days experience with your parents yes so it happens only with our family and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones they are always caring okay if there is someone to care for us often how happy we will be so a home is a place to make all this happen and this poem is written by lauren m hali okay children hope you all like this poem now we can see some new words okay eaves the part of a roof that meets each other chimneys a tall vertical pipe through which smoke comes out from a building usually then stucco a kind of a plaster which is used to cover the wall surface unselfish selfless acts deeds what we do that is called acts caring concerned i am concerned about you will tell right so caring means concerned hope you understood the lesson it's very easy so you please go through it and make it clear thank you children